Can you tell us a bit about uh, Susan, your character in this film, and a bit of her background and how sure. she kind of gets terrorised and things like that? <laughs> well, the exciting thing about the film is that we don't know uh, if Susan is having a mental break again. Um, because she had suffered one before, and that's why she goes to England in the country to finish her novel. And um, all these terrible things start happening, and we don't know if it's her uh, premonitions, uh, that she's not quite right upstairs, or if it's actually happening. So it's kind of exciting. I, I like to say that it's a psychological thriller rather than horror, even though there are some gory aspects to it. It's not the driving force of the film. Cool. And how, how much of a challenge is it well playing someone who's kind of appears to be going bonkers basically or going mad? Is that kind of difficult? I think that's the reason why I chose the film is because I thought that it would be really interesting to do mm. and challenging. So. Cool. And uh, you filmed it in uh, Somerset as well. So yeah. how was that? Did you enjoy I did. The... I really enjoyed it. I thought it was beautiful. And um, to actually live there with 40 of your castmates <laughs> was um, different and fun and... Um, sort of uh, incestuous because we work and and uh, would go down to the pub in the mansion uh, after work everybody would you know take a little uh, what whiskey <laughs> <laughs> uh, you always hear so you lived in the ma mansion then you kind of we lived uh, in the mansion oh, wow. during the shoot you always hear kind of with horror films like stories about oh the, the sets haunted and stuff yeah or did the, anything there like was that a, it supposedly mind? is a haunted mansion um i never saw i guess the blue lady i never saw her mm. uh, we did have a fire in the fireplace it it ignited i don't know if it was what happened but um i was in the other room and uh, we had to evacuate and emergency services showed up and it was a little bit touch and go there for a bit um, but it, it was fine. Mm. I don't know if that was some, like, <laughs> protest by uh, the Blue Lady or what. And um, we're going to see you in uh, The Expendables. As yes. Well. So, I mean, it looks kind of like the most blokiest film ever made. It is. So, it's how did you... very male. <laughs> yeah. Did you get treated well by all the guys? I did, I did. I think I do well with the dudes. You know, we get along really well. I'm kind of easy that way. Not easy, but easy going. And um, it, was, it was fun. It was a lot of fun. It are was you, great. Are you Jason's girlfriend? Or yes, I play yeah. Lee Christmas's girlfriend. My name is Lacey, and okay. uh, you know, uh, we're trying to work on our relationship. Yeah. Will she become Mrs. Christmas? You think? Uh, if there's an Expendables two, which oh, I have okay. a feeling this is going to be pretty successful, maybe. Only if I can kick some ass. Yeah. So there's no like fight scenes or stuff you can. For me. Do no. There's so many fight scenes, but none for me. Oh no. I'm just the. Uh, emotional chain and ball, mm. or ball and chain. <laughs> and what's kind of, does uh, Sylvester Stein carry kind of a bit of an aura about him when you meet him? Is he kind of like, him it's pretty him? impressive to, to be in the room with him. Um, he's, you know, he's legendary. Uh, I grew up watching him. And it's really kind of interesting to, you know, my dad loves Sylvester Stallone. And so then to be on set with him and to be directed by him and to, have a professional relationship with somebody that you've admired all your life is it was uh, it was very uh, cool it's mm. very very cool it's sort of surreal actually um, he's a very talented guy very talented and a very entertaining person as well yeah yeah how do you keep you entertained Is anything specific just storytelling you know yeah. just like his life experiences and uh, you know, the people he knows and, you know, how they engaged with each other. Just the stories were fascinating.